totally feel like this was necessary for you guys to just kind of get a close up. So really quick, here's Beeper, Bianca, Bumble, uh, Cheap Thrills, Chi, uh, what is Clueless, K, and Kapow. There are all the shades that I swatched on my arm. There they are, on my forehead. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the beauty author and I'm super excited because I finally got my package. Um, I did some shopping um, from ColourPop Cosmetics and my package just came in the mail within the last hour. I was like downstairs waiting for the mailman and it finally came. I'm so excited. I usually don't like ordering um, online especially if it's going to come through the you know um, US postal office because sometimes I never get my package or they send it back to you know the post office and it's just like a huge inconvenience and I have a feeling I was probably going to run into the same issue had I not waited downstairs but yeah anyways um, it's finally here and um, I'm going to show you guys what I bought um, I've never purchased any ColourPop cosmetics like at all um, I've heard kind of mixed reviews, some people like it, some people don't like it, and um, I specifically bought some of their, um, I won't say some because I definitely kind of splurged. <laughs> um, I bought their ColourPop Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lippies, and I bought about, I want to say anywhere between 13 to 16 shades, I don't remember, I just remember it like being really like oohed by like every color I saw on there. Um, I definitely went ahead and watched a lot of reviews on YouTube. I noticed that a lot of people were saying certain shades were kind of streaky. Um, watch out for these shades. So I tried to like stay away from the ones that were streaky. But any which way, I did buy the ones that really did appeal to me the most. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this. If you guys want to keep watching and see what I bought, my very first ColourPop Cosmetics purchase, then keep watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. I promise I will not make this episode long, um, just like my other ones, because I knew that I can do that. But I'm going to try to make this one sh super short and super sweet for you guys. So this is pretty much how it came. The other side just has like my personal information on there. Um, and then of course, ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, ColourPop, sorry, I keep saying ColourPop Cosmetics. It is cosmetics, so ColourPop's um, information on there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab some scissors and open this up. It's got like a floral design and then it's got their logo, color pop on there. Uh, so that's pretty cute. And then of course to protect my stuff, it's got like this thick foamy, you know, material in there. So I definitely appreciate that. And then of course my order just says what I got. And I'll go ahead and just read to you guys really quick what I did get. Um, in case you guys, you know, have already, already have the shades or, you know, have already seen the reviews. But, um, I got Beeper, Bianca, Bumble, Cheap Thrills, Chi, Clueless, K, K-pop, um, or Kapow, sorry, <laughs> um, Kapow, um, LAX, Limbo, Lumi Lumiere 2, Midi, Sol Solo, or Solo, Teeny Tiny, and Trap. Those are all the shades that I purchased, um, so yeah. Alright, so, um, the first thing, I'll just show you guys how it's, like, laid out. It's, this is how it's laid out. Um, you get this. Let me find out what I'm getting first, <laughs> and then I can tell you guys, but, oh, that's cool. You get, like, this little booklet, and it tells you, like, tips and tricks. Um, it tells you their products and what their um, products are about, like, what they're supposed to do, and, you know, all that good stuff. 
uh, I'm not gonna read through this but yeah you get this cool little booklet and it tells you a bunch of different things about their products how to apply tips and tricks and all that cool stuff so this is what this is a this what this is what this is about <laughs> um and then oh okay that's cute i've seen these like in the reviews and stuff like that so i'm really excited to read what mine says but this is like a kind of like a thank you card it says color pop on there and it just says thank you and it says, hi love, here's a cheesy card, XOXO, ColourPop, and then there's this little cheese drawing on here. It's kind of cute, but that's what I got. Oh, that's cute. I feel like, this, I wonder if like everyone gets like a different one or, I don't know. Anyways, that's cute though. Okay, okay, okay. So, oh my god, look at all the shades that I got. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so excited. Okay, so. So, oh, I feel like these are a lot more than what I ordered, but maybe it's just because I'm so excited that I'm just, you know. Anyways, okay. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and organized them alphabetically. Um, I didn't do, like, from light to dark. Um, I just thought if there was a specific shade that you wanted to see, you could just skip through the video and, um, yeah, find it alphabetically. So, um, it starts with the Bs because uh, I have, like I said, um... Bieber, Bianca, Bumble, Cheap Thrills, Chi, Clueless, K, uh, Kapow, LAX, Lumiere 2, Limbo, Midi, um, Solo or Solo, um, I think it's pronounced Solo, um, and then there's Teeny Tiny and Trap, and those are all the shades, um, like I said, alphabetical order that I got and um, organized. One thing I noticed is that some of the... Um, lippies the packagings were semi-opened um so like for example like this one um i don't know if that you know happened to any of you guys but maybe that's just you know with the whole um in the process of them packaging packaging it up that maybe they just didn't close it all the way but or maybe it's not closing because i've noticed i'm noticing right now that it's not going anyways Important thing is, as long as it hasn't been used, then I didn't get, like, you know, a redistributed product. That's all that matters. Um, but, yeah, I mean, really cute packaging. I love the whole floral, you know, um, minty pink floral theme going on. And I love the fact, too, that it came in a super thick, foamy protector because that does matter. Um, anyways, let me go ahead and put this aside and not waste time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open open um, beeper for the first time. So this is beeper, and ooh, here it is. It's so pretty. It's almost like this really um, nude pink color. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know. Yeah, I would say I would say definitely like a nude pink. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, give it a swatch and try. It's very liquidy. There's no smell. Yeah, there's really no like scent associated with it. Like, I feel like, okay, it's so like, if these were to like, ooh, it's very, very, very runny. So be careful. Uh -huh. If like this ever expired or when it does expire, when it does expire, I feel like it's going to have a very, very strong scent. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you have any of these. Um, oh, it's so liquidy. It's kind of hard to put it on. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, oh, I forgot. I watched the reviews and people were saying shake it up before you use it. But this is like super runny and super liquidy. So hopefully it doesn't fall on my clothes. <laughs> I'm not even sure because I don't want it to like fall. That's how liquidy it is. I'm just trying to like wipe it down. Um, this is the applicator. Uh, okay, let's go for it. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah, this is very, very pretty. Ooh. I had to look down to make sure that, you know, that it didn't fall onto my clothes, but this is very, very pretty. I love this color. Wow. Beeper, and then I will swatch it for you guys. And I'll just wait till it dries. Um, I do have to go to work here in a little bit. Um, I might not get to all the shades, but I might do like a part two for you guys if you guys are interested. But this is Beeper. This is so, 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 so pretty. and so up my alley. Oh my god, when it dries. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love this. And, I don't know, like, it's not, like, sticky or anything like that. I've had, like, um, uh, liquid lippies, specifically, um, the NYX lingerie. And I love the NYX lingeries. Don't get me wrong, these are beautiful. Um... I guess this is like my first day um, even trying this one out from ColourPop, but like with the um, lingerie ones from NYX, they kind of crumble sometimes and um, you have to exfoliate really, really, really well, which I did do before applying um, this one because I knew that like, I feel like with liquid lippies, like if you don't exfoliate your lips really well, it'll pick up any ashy, dry spots on your lips and it'll just like sink into the crevices of your lips. So I did exfoliate really, really well, but I'm really, really happy with this shade. I can't even talk about NYX right now because I'm just like so happy. It's so pretty. I can't even, mm, so, so, so pretty. And I don't even know if like this is doing justice, you know, if the camera is giving it justice that it needs to get, <laughs> but it's, it's super pretty. I will say right now, I really, really love this. When it dries up, it's like a mauve um, you know, pink, mauve um, nude. It's just so pretty. That's all I have to say. But mm, I like this one a lot. So like I said, this one is Beeper. I'm going to stop talking because I don't have time. And I still got to get dressed. Uh, it makes me sad to take this one off because of how pretty it is. I'm excited though to see the rest of the shades. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> and now I know what people were talking about. Okay. No, I know why they were so excited. Oh, I don't have time for my lips to dry. Ah. Okay guys, so next up is Bianca, and I'm really bad at describing what, you know, um, describing like the shades. So I would say definitely go online and just read them. God, this is hard to open. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, Bianca. This is Bianca. Ooh, it's kind of like a lighter version of Beeper in my opinion. But that's just what it looks like in the bottle. I have yet to see what it looks like on. So let's go ahead and give it a first a good shake. I keep forgetting because I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. These are so pretty. Oh my god. This is beeper. And I already showed you guys, but I'm so excited. Oh yeah. I think I'm definitely going to like this one. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh yeah. Ah yeah. This is pretty. Ooh. This one's definitely a lot lighter. Oh yeah, this is really, really pretty. I love this color. I feel like this, or maybe it's because I, you know, shook it up. I don't know. Um, it's, it feels like it's a uh, less runnier, but again, I could be wrong. 
could be because, like I said, I did give it a good um, shake before I opened it. But this is very, very pretty. I love this one, too. I seriously, oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I know it's just liquid lipstick, but oh, it's the pretty. Yeah, this is definitely a lot lighter. Swatching them, you can totally tell how lighter Bianca is. Okay, Bianca. Okay, girl. Definitely not mad at you. <laughs> yeah, this is super pretty. Oh my god. How did I not buy these a long time ago? Okay. Um, how do I explain Bianca? Bianca is definitely the um, very light end version of Beeper. Um, it's definitely got a lot more pink tone in it. It's still so pretty though. I love it. So that's Bianca. <laughs> and yeah, that was Bianca. Okay guys, so next up we have Bumble. And um, I was a little worried as far as whether I would like this shade or not in person. Um, a lot of the reviews demos and try-ons that I saw here on YouTube they it looked really different um, from person to person and so I wasn't sure if I would like it so I'm hoping that I will still have really strong feelings about this one like I did for Beeper and Bianca so let's go ahead and swatch this one this is Bumble definitely very liquidy so I think formulas are kind of different um, some of them are a little more runnier than the other I don't know why but okay, so wow Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, this is, uh, it looks uh, a little more opaque on camera in person. It's like this really, it's definitely very pretty in person and on camera. I would say this is definitely like in the ro rose, um, rosy tone category. It looks very different in the tube but this would be great alone. I personally would probably pair this up with a lip liner. I forgot to swatch it on my hand for you guys. Um, wow, this is a really, really pretty shade though. Definitely in the rose tone family. Mm-hmm, very pretty. Love it. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> ah, so sorry, I promised myself I would never do a first impressions just because I feel like feelings change you know a few weeks few months later so I feel like those aren't really um, you know my cup of tea I want to be able to give you guys like you know my genuine thoughts and so I like to just try on products give it a few months and see if my you know feelings change about it compared to when I first bought the product but anyways this is very very pretty I love how they're not sticky like they don't feel sticky um yeah <laughs> I really have nothing else to say this is so so pretty oh my god okay so I'm gonna be moving on into the C's starting with uh, cheap thrills but mm -hmm, definitely like them liking this one <laughs> Okay, so I figured why not go ahead and just remove it um, on camera so you guys can see how they remove. I will say that these definitely stain. Um, my lips were getting super red. Of course, that could be just from the rubbing and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys how easy it is to remove this or how easy not it is. And this is just a makeup wipe remover from Equate. It's the knockoff version for Neutrogena, I guess. The one that's sold at Walmart. Oh my god. Okay, so... 
you definitely have to put some force into removing it. I'm going into work in a little bit and definitely going to, you know, <laughs> put some makeup because they're going to think something is wrong. <laughs> Okay, and since this is like, you know, um, liquidy, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a towel to like wipe my mouth area down. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so next up is Cheap Thrills. Here's Cheap Thrills. Wow, this is really pretty. In the tube, it looks definitely more in the mauve purpley family probably like the you know the light end of the spectrum <laughs> okay yeah this one is liquidy i mean the liquid lipstick but you know what i mean like the formula Ooh, yeah this is pretty but it's not as liquidy as the last one so I'm doing like a really horrible job a really horrible job <laughs> excuse me a really horrible job um swatching or you know I can't get the lines right so this is so pretty oh I love color pop <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now oh my god oh and they're only six dollars like that's kind of what made me decide to splurge a little bit because I'm like they're six bucks even NYX's you know liquid lippies are 6.99 and you know depending on where you go that's the cheapest but wow love it love it oh. <laughs> I'm in love you guys I am so in love this is so pretty. This is pretty. Okay. There we go. That's Cheap Thrills. The last one I swatched. So pretty. Okay, guys. So next up we have Chi. And the packaging is a little different. I'm assuming these are probably limited edition or they were probably, you know, um created um with one of like the youtube artists or uh Kurichi Tran Kurichi Tran yeah I think I said her name right <laughs> but um that's probably why the um packaging looks a little different but anyways this is a really 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 pretty shade and uh it's definitely uh in the uh, nude nudes as far as Shade family. So pretty. I love all of them. Oh, this is definitely um, when I, like, right away while it's still wet. It's definitely like in that nude beige family, as you guys can see. It's pretty, pretty white, but I'm usually, I'm usually um, a pretty big fan of these types of shades. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Um, this is pretty. Yeah. I would say this one definitely needs time to just set uh, because I feel like it would sink a little bit into, because it is like a lighter, you know, um, nude nude not so much beige but you know um it's kind of between i don't know like a it's kind of between like a beige and a nude it's not like super light um but it's not you know super dark i don't know um i would just say give it some time to set 
and maybe even add a second layer but it's still really pretty I like it so there it is and again that was Chi and there it is swatched <laughs> okay moving on to Clueless I'll be back I'm just going to remove it first okay so next up we have Clueless Clueless and uh, um, here's Clueless oh this is really pretty this is definitely in the pink um, tone families family <laughs> pink tone family and give it a good shake okay guys so this is clueless on my lips and I did swatch it, it's right there um, yeah this one's definitely in the uh, pink tone family like I mentioned and I really really like this um, it's kinda like a, a rosy pink color um, I was afraid that I wouldn't like this one because it looks so different you know like I said on other um, toned lips and also online, but I really really do like it. So clueless Okay guys, so next up we have K and this is one that um, is part of the Kirichi Colourpop collection so this is K and Here it is. It's more like a, um, a burnt um, Like orange brown shade. I'm gonna mix. I forgot to give it a good shake Okay. But it looks really, really pretty. Um, sometimes I get a little worried that these types of shades won't, you know, compliment me. So let me swatch it first on my hand. Oh, it's very pretty. Wow, <laughs> I love this mother shade. <laughs> oh, uh, of course I smiled and talked and got a lot on my teeth, but ooh, this is pretty. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you can definitely um lighten it up by not I don't know, like um I'm losing my train of thought because I keep looking in the mirror and I just keep thinking about how pretty this shade is. This is so pretty. It's gorgeous actually. It's not pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I feel like because um, when I swatch it, it looks a little more, it doesn't look as, you know, dark on my lips. And what I was trying to say is I feel like if you don't want it to be as dark, then just, you know, very lightly. Um, apply it to your lips and just maybe try to remove as much excess uh, of the product into the bottle so that you can control how much you know um, you want on your lips but oh my god this is so pretty mm. Ooh, it has that line but I feel like a lot of like the um, liquid lip um, products have that I don't know I feel like it's something you just really can't avoid but but it's so pretty, uh, you know, this shade, it's really hard to describe it, like it's, it looks so different in the tube. You look, it looks different even swatched, and it looks different when you try it on your lips. In my opinion, I love all three, in the tube, on the lips, and swatched on the arm. <laughs> okay, so that was K-pop. I'm so excited about these liquid lipsticks. I've been dying to get my hands on, but of course I wanted to do my research first and <sighs> yeah, so pretty. So, okay, next up is Kapow. So, Kapow. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so like I said, next up is Kapow. 
and let's see what Kapow looks like. Oh, this is Kapow. Ooh. Um, in the bottle or in the tube? <laughs> in the bottle. What is this, a baby? <laughs> um, in the tube. Give it a good shake because I can already see the formula separating. But in the tube, it definitely, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it looks like it's in the pink family, but it also looks like it could be in the nude family. It looks really interesting. <laughs> so let's go ahead and swatch it. And you guys, I do have to leave really soon because, like I said, I do have to go to work. Um, yeah. Ooh. This almost looks like it could be in, like, the, um, Mobby family. So let's, uh, ooh, it's in the Topi family. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just, uh, I'm in love. Oh, wow. That is great. Wow, wow, wow. This is really, really pretty. This is kind of up my alley. Um, I love the whole, you know, taupey, gray toned um, types of uh, lip products. <gasps> so pretty. You can still see the rubbing irritation from the last shade, K, because it was very, very, um, a very dark color. So I had to, like, you know, be a little more uh, rougher. <laughs> but this is really pretty. Um, and I feel really good about this. Very, very pretty. I love it. Um, I have nothing else to say. So, like I said, this one right here is Kapow. Kapow! And here's the swatch. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to be moving on. I think what I'll do is maybe I'll just stop right here and I'll do part two in a different video. How about that? Uh, I think that's a great idea because I have to leave. <laughs> so... I think I might just walk out the door with kapow. And anybody that bothers me, I'm going to kapow them. With my lips, of course. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm sorry that I stopped right there on you guys. But if you guys want to see part two, I'm going to be doing LAX in part two. Lumiere 2 in part two. <laughs> um, and Limbo, Midi, Solo, and Teeny Tiny. And the last one is Trap. So watch out for part two if you guys want to see me swatch those shades, okay? And maybe I'll just upload it all together so you'll have part two available to you right away. So anyways, I'm ending the night with Kapow. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review, try on, first impressions, uh, kind of. Um, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys. Mwah. Thanks for watching.